guys, NiftyX here. Today I'm going to be doing a update on a previous tutorial that I have done, which is how to make a GB profile animation. This is how to make a more advanced, better looking GB profile animation without all those little white dead pixels at the end. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new uh, document with 290 height 150. Okay. Put this into the screen. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Now uh, for a foreground color, we're going to be using hashtag 2A3035. Hit OK. We're going to hit Shift Backspace and fill with our foreground color, blending mode normal. Okay, so now we have the. This is the exact color of GB. I'm going to grab our text tool. I'm going to be using Bank Gothic, which looks like this. This is Bank Gothic. Okay, I'm just going to write. Writing in black. We should be writing in black. Okay, I'm going to write Nifty. Free transform. Hold Shift. Scale up. Okay, double click the layer to bring up the layer styles. Stroke, two pixels, fill, I mean, uh, yeah, color, white. So now it looks like we have a nice text kind of looking effect thingy. Uh, I'm just going to throw a drop shadow in there because I'm bored. Okay, now we're going to create a new layer. We're going to grab our gradient tool. We're going to make sure we have a gradient that is transparent to purple to transparent I'll, I'll show you how to do that right now alright so see we have this right I don't think we have this a foreground color we want a foreground color to be I don't know let's find a foreground color let's use this blue okay so now we're just gonna grab the blue we're gonna move the blue over to the center we're gonna place a stop at the end we're gonna make it blue also and oh fuck my life okay we're going to place the stop at the end we're going to make the opacity zero okay and at this we're going to make the opacity zero and in the center we're going to make it blue and we're going to delete that okay so we're just going to grab our gradient tool we're going to come up here. We're going to make sure it's transparent to any color to transparent. We're going to hit OK. We're going to move our gradient tool over a little bit so we have a little a little line. There you go. We're going to right click our layer style. Go to create clipping mask. So now that that little line is inside of the word. Okay, we're going to put it to the beginning of the word, create a new frame, put it to the middle of the word, create a new frame, and put it to the end of the word. We're going to grab our middle frame, we're going to hit the tweet button, which is the one, one over from the right of the, one over to the right of the, to the last frame button. We're going to tween it, previous frame, frames to add 25, okay, then we're going to tween it next frame frames to add 25 okay and now if we play it with no delay it should look like this it's going through the word okay now that we did that we're going to create a new layer new layer is going to be a text layer I'm going to write in blue because blue is fucking awesome and I'm going to write welcome to my account you can put this on anything, any account. You can put this if you have a an account on a forum. You can put this on your forum account, whatever you want. I'm gonna hit Control T just to scale up a bit so you can see it. Okay, welcome to my account. Now with this, you can do a whole bunch of layer styles on it. You know, drop shadow, stroke, glow, whatever you want, just for the hell of it. Auto glow, blue. Spread 15, size 18, range 80. Okay. Just 
stroke black two pixels okay so now we have like this little effect here we're going and uh this is gonna look great on your gb account or any account you want to put it on you know rate comment and subscribe and i'll have more tutorials peace out home skinny biscuits word up to my mother